John, so many great anecdotes in your book. What is your personal favorite Nick Saban story? There was a few. One of my favorites, uh, just because I think it speaks to how committed this guy is. Uh, there's one where he calls one. This is 19. I think it's 1990, his first year as a head coach. And he calls one of his assistants on Christmas Day. And he's like, hey, like, LSC, like, what are you doing, man? And he's like, uh, you know, it's Christmas. I'm hanging out with my wife. And he's like, you want to come over and watch some film? And he's like, no, it's Christmas. Like, I'm not coming over to your house to watch some film. But he's like, like why not, man? Like, why don't you want to come over? Like, and he was serious. Like, that's how, like, locked in he was in that moment. And so I think in that same chapter related to that, uh, one of the guys who worked at Alabama told me that, like, you know, with Saban, like, he obviously puts in long hours. And you don't want to leave before the boss leaves. You know, you don't want to leave before Greg Sussman leaves, right? And so what would happen is they, you know, he'd be late, he'd be working late, but then he had a side door he could go out. And so he might leave at eight o'clock and they're still there until 10 p.m. They don't realize he left. And so this one guy told me he started bribing the custodian to only clean one area of the building that Saban would have to walk past. And then he would tell him, hey, Saban's gone, you guys can all leave, uh, which I thought was just hilarious.